Good evening, and we begin with fast-moving developments in that explosive case. What we did not know about that chokehold caught on tape. What was discussed inside that grand jury room now revealed. And right now, the images coming in, the growing protests here in New York City, demonstrators on the move tonight, the crowds growing from Seattle to Atlanta as well. Of course, all of it after this. Eric Garner, an unarmed black man, a father and husband, forced to the ground, telling police 11 times during all of this that he could not breathe. He later died. Tonight, a big question being asked. If the medical examiner determined this was a homicide, why no charges? And we now hear from Eric Garner's children for the first time. ABC's Ron Claiborne leading us off again tonight. The grand jury watched four separate videos of the moments leading to Eric Garner's death. But this is the version the world has seen. Who else do Who does sell cigarettes to? Eric Garner arguing with this officer who accused him of selling loose cigarettes. Standing by, Officer Daniel Pantaleo. I'm minding my business, officer. Then Pantaleo moves in. No touch me, he slips an arm under Garner's right arm, the other around his neck. It looks like a chokehold. He tries to force Garner down. Two other officers swoop in. All four cops now wrestling Eric Garner. The whole time, Officer Pantaleo on top of him, keeping that seeming chokehold a full 15 seconds. Garner says, I can't breathe, again and again, 11 times. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Moments later, Garner stops moving. Police try to clear the scene. Officer Panaleo spent two hours in front of the grand jury telling them he did not put Garner in a chokehold, which the NYPD bans, but executed a takedown, as he was trained to do. The 23-person, mostly white grand jury met for nine weeks. They would have needed 12 votes to indict. The outcry instantaneous. Garner's wife responding angrily to words of condolence from Officer Pantaleo. No, I could care less. He's still working. He's still getting a paycheck. He's still feeding his kids. And my husband is six feet under. And today we're hearing from Garner's children in an interview with Yahoo's Katie Couric. I was disappointed. Um, it's still like, why? You know? You, you seen him die on national TV just like everybody else. Why? Basically is focused. New York City's mayor speaking out about Sounds telling his own son, Dante, who is biracial, about what he called the dangers he may face from police. This is personal. We can see through the eyes of so many of our fellow New Yorkers. People need to know that black lives and brown lives matter as much as white lives. Those comments well, themselves infuriating New York City's police union. What we need is a mayor to stand up with and for us as well. And David, protests tonight throughout New York City. This is Mayor de Blasio announces a new program to retrain all 35,000 New York City police officers in the use of physical force. The slogan, talk down, don't take down. David. Ron, thank you. You can hear the choppers hovering above the demonstrators. Let's get right to ABC's chief legal anchor, Dan Abrams, tonight. And Dan, back to the tape here, because we've learned that in front of that grand jury, the police officer argued that this was not a chokehold, that he'd been trained to do this, but does that make a difference? Well, it sure looks like a chokehold to most people who are watching it. But even if it is a chokehold, it's a violation of NYPD protocol, but that doesn't necessarily make it a crime, meaning that he would necessarily be punished by the NYPD for the conduct, but even if it's a chokehold, doesn't immediately equate to a crime. It doesn't make him a criminal. In the meantime, the medical examiner determining this was a homicide, and you've been asked this a lot, why then no charges? A, a similar type answer, which is that a homicide means the death at the hands of another. The ME here is saying that the primary cause of death was the police officer's actions, but there are defenses to that. And in this case, the police officer said he was justified. It seems that the grand jury accepted that. Dan Abrams tonight. Dan, thank you.